It was April 1st, 2022. It was a wonderful day. I was a senior associate in a reputed management consulting company. I was part of an amazing team. I had an amazing boss due for a promotion in just a few months. But despite all of that, I quit, which to a lot of people was bizarre and out of the blue. I get this question quite a bit. Adil, you had so many things going for you. Why did you quit? Therefore, I thought I'll make a video to take you guys behind the scenes of my decision to leave my management consulting job and talk a little bit about the dark side to consulting that I have never talked about before. But let's get right into it. Now, before I talk about the three reasons that led me to leave my job, I feel it's important for you to know my journey within ZS, which in many ways was very unique compared to an average associate. I joined ZS in July of 2019, right out of my college campus placement as a decision analyst associate in the Pune office. I worked in the data science and advanced analytic teams for one of the major clients of the firm. And I would work there for the next two years until about April of 2021. It was in April of 2021 that I requested to switch teams, which coincidentally happened to be in Bangalore, from where I would work for the next year or so until June of 2022. Now, I made the switch because the team in question worked on behavioral insights within market research. And as someone who has tremendous interest in psychology, and behavior, I was curious to know more and work on behavioral analytics in a consulting environment. Now, my journey within ZS was unique for a few reasons, but mainly because associates within the firm are encouraged to have depth in their domains before it's okay to jump between fields. But I got the opportunity throughout my three years of work, work on a variety of projects from machine learning to advanced analytics using R, Python, and SQL to market research and behavioral insights within market research. It's important to know all of this because the reasons that led me to leave largely dependent on my journey and may be different than yours. I'd encourage you to take my story as just one piece of the puzzle as opposed to the entire picture itself. For the most part, I loved working at ZS. The people, the culture and the work itself was amazing. Working in a company, especially a multinational corporate company like ZS, for the first time out of college made me realize a lot of things, not just about work, but even myself. One such thing was how important independence was to me, which also was the first reason why I left. You see, in any large organization, the decision-making funnel is usually top-down. Managers and the partners on the top make decisions, which is then handed over to all of the levels below them until those decisions reach the execution layer, meaning the people who actually work on them, which in ZS are generally the associates and the associate consultants. If at any time within a project, the speed, direction, or acceleration of the work needs to be changed, that confirmation needs to run up the ladder to the partners back down to the execution layer. Even small decisions can take long amounts of time just because there's so many people to run those ideas by before you can actually execute on them. Essentially, the autonomy of decision making increases as you go up the ladder. But for me personally, I often found that very frustrating. I realized that as a person, I like owning my own decisions and living with the consequences, no matter how good or bad they might be. And working in a company where even the smallest of decisions needs to be communicated and discussed with multiple people across often multiple time zones, I started losing the joy that I felt when I actually started working. Now, mind you, there's nothing wrong with this process itself. Most large companies work this way. It's just that I wasn't willing to wait 10 years to climb up the corporate ladder chasing that feeling, that feeling of independence and being able to make my decisions myself. I wanted it sooner and believe that there were ways of achieving that in much less time. This brings me to my second reason. Somewhere along my second or third year, I realized that I started losing the sheer joy that I felt of working at ZS and working in consulting. I remember my first few years where come rain or storm, no matter how bad the project got, no matter how bad my boss got, I woke up just as excited I was on a Monday as I did on a Friday. Somewhere along the lines, I lost that feeling. Often waking up in the morning was a chore, knowing that I had a 11 a.m. meeting coming up. Every day felt like a drag and I was more excited to read that book after work at 10 p.m. 
then i was to actually go to work at 10 am i just didn't want to keep feeling like that anymore having dabbled in content over the pandemic um releasing a few of my first youtube videos starting my own podcast i realized that content could be something that i maybe see myself doing long term i started experimenting and putting out posts on linkedin um editing more videos understanding the behind the scenes of being a creator and especially being a creator in india the only problem was that working at zs often just didn't give me enough time to do that my working hours were often so crazy that most of my weekends either went in revenge by time procrastination or just catching my breath from a crazy week which brings me to my third reason why i left zs which was the work life balance or to be precise the lack of throughout my time at zs the work life balance has been pretty much bad and to be honest i'd say for 90% of the firm it, it's unfortunately like that 40 hour weeks are actually considered chill and 60 hour weeks are not uncommon to zs is credit they are actually very transparent with the expectations that the job needs to be done irrespective of how long it takes often times especially when you're working 50 to 60 hours a week it just feels like you can't relate to anyone else who doesn't work that much if you do have people in your life that do have a work life balance sometimes you just don't have enough time to give them or often you aren't willing to because you need time for yourself knowing that there were so many things in life that i wanted to do i just didn't feel like living like that anymore i think you have to experience it yourself to really make a decision and i've been vocal about this before i do believe and stand by the idea that in your first few years as a fresher you should be working maybe not 60 hours but um at least not shying away from working that much because it exponentially increases your learning potential and it sets you up for success in the future but that being said in late 2021 i decided that i was going to resign early 2022 and to be very honest i feel like it has been the best decision of my life so far and in many ways it's partly because of cs the firm itself that has taught me the importance of collaboration and what it means to value the people around you i recently hired my first employee and i'd like to believe that a lot of the values that i'm using to create my own team at gyan central have largely stemmed from the values that i learned and saw in practice at zs in the end i'd say that my decision to quit zs and even switch teams in the middle that did impact my growth in terms of promotion largely came from having enough clarity in my life and what i wanted from it how i wanted to get it and more importantly what exactly was i willing to sacrifice to get it i feel like that's a very important thing to think about often i find people complaining about lack of work life balance or not getting paid enough or not getting a bigger bonus the bigger questions are about your job satisfaction what it is that you want to learn where it is that you want to reach in life how fast you want to get there what are you willing to forego i think optimizing for satisfaction and happiness in my opinion are the best ways to get the most roi out of your work that's it for today's video those were the three reasons why I left my high paying job at ZS Associates. I hope you found that valuable. This is the second video in a series of videos that I'm doing about my time at ZS and some of the most frequently asked questions that I get on my LinkedIn where I post every day about stories from my time being a consultant turned creator and also things that make you go, "Hmm, I didn't know that." If you're curious, I'll put up the link. Definitely follow me there. If you found this video insightful, or the previous one that i did on five little known facts about zs do subscribe to this channel because there's a lot of cool stuff upcoming that's it for today's video as always gyan batao gyan badao